it's Marie France here from Healthy Cooking for Food Lovers. I am making Cookie Saint Jacques, and now I know that there's so many different recipes out there, but I make it very simply. I make it with the scallops, the pétanque, and that's actually this is called coquille Saint-Jacques <laughs> in French. So normally this should be made with scallops. People put shrimp and other things, but it's supposed to be made with the scallops. Now, I will make it in the coquille because this is the shell. That's coquille. So that's why they call coquille Saint-Jacques and so we make them in that little dish here and it's gonna be delicious so let's start with the pétanque or the scallops just what i want to tell you is that it's okay to buy these uh, frozen because they are so 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 fresh when they are snap frozen and i think it's the freshest way to have them otherwise if you live right near the ocean and you know that they they caught them today but i think that buying these uh, frozen is quite uh, okay now what i want to show you is one little tip this one here we can see it so there's a little muscle on the side here of the uh, scallops and you have to look for that there's a just a little bit you're gonna when you see it you're gonna recognize it it's just like a little a piece that's hanging and we need to actually peel that off it's just that small and this out we don't put that in when you cook your scallops you must take that little muscle out because this is really sort of tough a little bit so we want to always just discard this little piece okay now we're gonna start by poaching our uh, scallops now so 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 important not to overcook the scallops they they just need just a minute not long at all so I'm going to prepare my stock here. We're going to poach them first and then put them in our nice sauce. Uh, so I'm going to start with my stock here. Now this is quite precious. This is a stock that I made boiling all the shells of our lobster and our crab dinner that we had. And I boil uh, all those shells in a big 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 pot and then i've got about six uh, jars of this precious liquid here this is our uh, stock so we're gonna start and pour that maybe half of it here in our pan oh, okay so some white wine there's there's just the wine that was left here i'll put all that in here all of i think it was one cup about one cup of uh, wine and we're gonna add the juice of half a lemon oh there's a lot of juice in this lemon i'll taste uh, this broth just to adjust the salt if needs be I think I'll put just a little bit more salt yes I'm a salty girl I think so smells delicious already so as we can see it's really it's really going so we want to keep keep that simmering quite high because we don't want it to completely stop when we put our scallops so I think it's ready now we'll put our scallops and count one minute okay it's one minute so we're gonna transfer here in the strainer and collect the juice as well so all in here 
and what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this pan so now we're gonna prepare a sauce that we'll go with so we have here a quarter of a cup of butter happening and one cut and I have a leek I cut uh, I cut it already uh, poivre and uh, we're taking just the white part here and we'll cut it So our leek, we just want them to sweat, not to cook too much, so until they're just a little bit soft. So. Now we're going to add a quarter of a cup of this is the same way that we would make a bechamel or a roux. Same quantity of butter and same quantity of flour. Now it's going to look a little bit mushy with our leeks here. That's what we want. So we need to, when, whenever you do a roux, you need to make sure that your flour cooked before you add some liquid. So and that's where it's a little bit mushy but it's perfect that's what we want and uh, we need to keep stirring here because it's gonna stick to the bottom and we don't want that either and now we're gonna get back to our stock that we use for poaching our uh, scallops and we're gonna add this to uh, the pan here okay it's time for the stock now I'm going to probably maybe leave some behind a little bit because I don't want to have too, too much. I want this to be quite thick. I also want to add some cream to this. So now a little bit more. And we will add some cream. Here I have a one and a half cup of cream. Color is perfect. The consistency is perfect. Spatula at the bottom. We see the bottom of the pan. That means that our sauce is pretty much the right uh, consistency. Let me see if there's enough salt. A little bit salt. Just a little bit more salt. And I'll add a little bit of pepper as well at this point. Salt, pepper. So here we have our scallops and I will just distribute them here. Now we will put a beautiful sauce with the leek. And now to finish it off we add a little bit of uh, Gruyere uh, cheese, not too much. We don't want it to be too cheesy, but just a little bit on top, just like that. Just a little bit. You don't want to cover it all up. And this is going to go in the oven just to melt that cheese. So no more than about eight to 10 minutes at about 350 180 celsius and this is ready now if you if you're not ready to serve that right now you can at this point just cover it up put it in the fridge and at the time of serving you're just going to send them into the oven at that time because remember we don't want to overcook our scallops very very important 
so no need to double up on the oven part so now we're gonna put them in the oven and we're gonna leave it for about eight minutes I think Coquille Saint-Jacques just came out of the oven I actually broil it for the last two minutes just to make this cheese bubble a little bit but now it is just really perfect very hot but so we won't touch it just at the moment and what I'll do is just uh, add on a little bit of uh, fresh parsley on top to serve so we're just gonna chop 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 Just roughly chop and then adding just a little bit on top like that. Just... Coquille Saint-Jacques. Bon appétit!